guys. So my roommate Jason told me about this place back home uh, in Vegas called Fuku Burger. He tells me that this place makes the most incredible Japanese sliders you'll ever have. Now I wanted to try this myself, so I did a Japanese spin on a classic burger. So I did teriyaki sauce and wasabi mayo on top of the burger. It's very good and very cheap. It's about $8 for two burgers and it'll only take you about 20 minutes to make. So why don't we get started? So the first thing you want to do is make your sauce for the burgers, alright? So I'm going to make my own teriyaki sauce for the burgers. It's essentially like your A1 steak sauce that you put into your burger. So this is mirin. Uh, mirin is used in almost every Japanese uh, dish. It's uh, alcohol. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's 8% alcohol. Um, and it gets really sweet when you have the alcohol evap evaporate out of it. I would say about half a cup of mirin. Um, and what we're doing right now is evaporating the alcohol out so that it gets sweet. Uh, you'll start seeing it bubbling. Uh, let it bubble for about, I would say, about a minute. I'm going to add about a fourth of a cup of sugar to this. And then once your sugar uh, dissolves, add your soy sauce. I'll say about two tablespoons of soy sauce. And that's teriyaki. Uh, if you let it cook down more, it's going to get thicker. Or if you want it to get even thicker faster, you can add sugar to it. So I'm going to take the scallion, cut it in half, and slice down the middle, and then slice it down the middle again. Because I want I want to find mince for this uh, the scallions in the burger, because I don't want to be biting into big chunks of scallions, you know. You're going to take your garlic. So I have two cloves here. Smack it peel off, just like that. Take your garlic and slice it uh, horizontally twice, so one, two, and then you're going to go vertically, one, two, three, four, and then you're going to just mince it. We're going to start making our, uh, our patties now. So the meat you want to use for this is ground beef and ground pork. Um, the two meats, when they combine together, have a great flavor. Um, so I have about a pound of uh, meat here, and to this I'm going to add about four garlic cloves that I minced earlier and about two scallions that I've minced too. Actually about one scallion. We're gonna add half of that. Um, and then the teriyaki sauce that we did. Right. So just take your hand and mix this. The best burgers are made with love, right? So you gotta do this with your hands. Um, so you wanna take about a nice hand a handful like this, alright? And these are going to be thin patties, remember? We're not doing like a hulky burger. So just get your patty, squeeze it together like that. So we're going to fry them up in a pan. I use a non-stick pan here, uh, and we're going to use vegetable oil. We're going to just... You are frying them up, so be kind of liberal on the oil. We want a hot pan, really hot pan, or else you'll be steaming your patties. Just like that. Um, these are going to go for about a minute, or about two minutes on each side, um, or until you poke the middle of one of them, the liquids that come out should be a clear color. If it's like a foggy color, then it's not cooked. When you make your patties, you might want to put a little donut in the middle of it, but don't go through it all. Um, this way, when you cook it, the middle doesn't bubble up, um, and it's more even, because the middle bubbles up. Uh, that's how meat works, and then it'll make an even patty. And then the color is going to be a little dark, like a dark brown. That's exactly what you want. When if, it, when if it gets to like a black color, then you burned it. So I have everything prepared here. I have the buns and the meat done, okay? So there's one thing we gotta prepare, and that's the wasabi mayonnaise, all right? So all you need is mayonnaise and wasabi. You can, you know, play with it, see how strong you like it. Um, but I just think a strong flavor is good. So we're just gonna add mayonnaise to a bowl and wasabi on top of that. Mix it together, and it's gonna turn like a, a a light green color. To make your sliders uh, have a nice fun feel to them, you wanna stack them tall, okay? So you take one patty, put it on the bottom, you're gonna do a little bit of wasabi mayo on top of that, just like that. And then you're gonna take sesame leaf, and you're just gonna fold it up like that. And then one more patty, more wasabi mayo on top of that. And then one more leaf, and you're done. 
So this is a real quick, real easy uh, Japanese burger that you can make at home. It takes about 20 minutes to make and it's only cost you about $8. Now if you were to buy this burger in a restaurant, it'd be about $20. So that's a big savings uh, right there, right? Um, now I usually eat this with pickles. Uh, I make my own uh, watermelon rind pickles. You can use any pickle you want. A dill pickle goes great with this too. Now I'm gonna uh, take a bite of this now. Mm. That wasabi mayo is so crucial to this burger. It just makes it taste so much better. Now, like I said before, you can uh, adjust the level of wasabi in your mayonnaise. I like mine uh, very strong. So if you like this, um, tweet me at ChefNYUNews or shoot me an email at studentchef at nyunews.com.